Hi everyone, my name is Megan and I go by they them pronouns and today we'll be doing something with art to go materials. So um, yeah, let's get started. I'm thinking of doing a mandala with these. So I'll be showing you how to do that with these materials and just really quick going over what materials you need to have by your side, which you'll probably have in your art to go kit. So you're all set, but Mine may look a little bit different just because I went out to the store and bought what they had there at um, the art store. So I have paint pens, so just different colors. Yours might look a little different, but they're paint pens. And then I have some different stickers. Again, they might look a little different than yours. Just fun stickers. And then some jewels so just an assortment of different colors and different shapes so that one's a heart yeah different sizes should look like yours shiny different colors so let's get into it and i actually have a just a blank sheet of printer paper and i'm actually going to cut it down just a little bit smaller. So I'm taking my scissors. And these are actually embroidery scissors. So they're a bit smaller. So I'm just cutting it down. And just put those over there. So I just wanted to make it like a little smaller square doesn't have to be perfect. And I forgot to mention, this is more art therapy based. So instead of more of an art, um, like for the aesthetic, like has to look, look a certain way, this is more of like art therapy. So feel free to bring in, you know, some of your personal experiences, feelings, if you wanna like explore something. Um, yeah, just kind of having fun with it and just have to look a certain way and anything really goes. So yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. So we'll be making a mandala today. So kind of easing some stress and it can be meditative even. So I'll just head right into it. I'm gonna pick a color, any color, and just start making a design and kind of growing it from the center out. So making sure maybe you need to shake your pen first because the paint settled. We're pushing the tip down on the piece of paper. I'm just kind of working with it. It might take a minute to get it going. Shaking. I did this the other day, but I think they settled. Yeah, that helped. Okay. So I'm just starting with like a circle in the middle and kind of branching out from there. I'm just thinking of some shapes you want to incorporate. Any patterns, maybe some circles. I'm just kind of thinking of do you want it to be kind of symmetrical so if there was a line down the middle do you want kind of it to be mirrored or asymmetrical which would be more like I don't know, I'll pick a different color And this is an example of something more asymmetrical. So, you know, I have waves on this side and this side is just a curve. So just kind of playing around with that, making some shapes, some patterns.
And just kind of picking through some colors. Maybe you want it to be all one color. I'm kind of going for this multicolor picture here. And again, if they don't work right away, you might have to shake them. And then pressing the tip down into the paper. Letting yourself just really explore here. And let yourself kind of go with it, you know. Kind of meditate with it. And this might be really different than other art that you've done in the past, and that's okay. And I'm just using another color again. Here's what it looks like so far. For me, yours could look totally different. <laughs> And make sure you have the stickers and the jewels close by because we'll be using those next. Just thinking of some shapes you can put in, maybe coloring some in. Just tapping into that creativity. And this is even something you can kind of keep in your back pocket if you're feeling stressed at work or at home and just kind of doodling maybe on a note card or on a post-it. If you're ever feeling really stressed, this can be kind of like a grounding kind of exercise. kind of following the patterns and really, you know, connecting with something in front of you. So I'm going to switch over to my stickers and just seeing if any pop out of me that I really like and can use them.
And some of mine have words and some are kind of just like little symbols or flowers. So I'm gonna take, take one and find a place for it, so. This one says, keep on being you, and I put it just in the center there. And I think I'm just going to go around and see if there's any more that kind of jump out and put them on my mandala. So I'm taking a little flower one, just putting it somewhere. Let's see. And again, there's no right way or wrong way. Just kind of seeing what comes and going with it. Then I have little strawberries I'm putting in by the lead line. I thought that would look good. Maybe putting something outside of the design. That's the I'm doing. So these are just like little fruit stickers I'm using. There we go. And then I still have another sticker pack here. More space themed. And again, yours might look a little different, but I tried to get ones that had like some words on them because I saw that you had packs with more um, words in them. So again, just kind of seeing. Like the stars, those little, little like shiny stars. Those are cool. And I always find when I'm doing art, time just flies or I lose track of time. And that's actually called a flow state. You know, you know um, some people can have it from playing sports or maybe if you're into music, playing something. For me, that really comes from art. Cool with the stickers, it kind of feels like collage. It's fun. There we go. So I'll just show you how mine's looking so far. And the those are the stars I just added, kind of the shiny, shiny ones. Let's see what else I can do. I won't forget about the, the jewels we have. I'll come back to those in a sec. Just adding some more little details to my, my drawing. So we'll move on from the stickers to the jewels. And again, just kind of picking out some ones that you like. They're popping out at you. 
little, and they might kind of roll away from you. So keep your eye on them. <laughs> okay. And these ones don't have any like sticky on them or anything. So if you don't have glue, if you don't have a, a glue stick or Elmer's glue, I have Modge, Mod Podge that I like to use. Uh, but if you don't have glue, you can just kind of put them where you would want to put them and just kind of play around with that. And if you have glue, I would suggest um, getting it out and let's see. Oh, and a paintbrush if you're using something like this and a water cup, just so it doesn't stay in your um, bristles when you're kind of doing other things. Um, let's see, where was I? So if you have glue, this would be the time to kind of glue them down where you want them. And if you don't, no big deal. You can just kind of put them where you want them. Of course, they'll be moved around, but that's okay. Not everything is, you know, permanent and temporary art is just as cool. Let's see. So I'm just gluing down some colors. I'm taking like little circle clear ones right now. I know they're hard to see. And just adding them to your design. And again, just kind of having fun with it, you know? You don't have to overthink it if you don't want to. Maybe you're doing like an alternating kind of pattern. Why not? I, I went for it. I tried. It's kind of working. <laughs> Let's see. We just have a few minutes left. But this is something you can always come back to or, you know, create another one on your own if you still have some more materials some more stickers. Oh, that's the water, I like the glue. So just taking some green ones, same kind of shape, the circles, popping them in there. And it really jazzes it up really quick, which is cool, bedazzled. Now this can be something you may want to hang if, you know, you have kind of like inspirational stickers going on. It might be nice to kind of put it in a spot where you can see it if, you, if that's something you want to do. Or maybe hang it on the fridge, you know, tap into that inner child. Or if your kid's doing it, maybe you want to put it on the fridge. <laughs> This one's cool, it's a star. That's cool. I'm kind of color coding it. So I'm putting yellow on like the outside. It's holding them down so they stick. I think it's so, so cool to like see something transform from the start to the finish. All about the process. So this is going to be my last edition. And we're just going to wrap up. And again, if you're not done, you can always save your materials and come back to it at a later time. Or make a new um, mandala with some leftover materials if you still have some. 
I can show you mine. And it's important to cap your glue sticks or, you know, close them up so they, they don't dry out. We'll come back to that. <laughs> so here's my finished product here, finished piece. Here's what it looks like. It's pretty cool with all the gems. It really reflects the light really well, which is cool. So here's mine. And in the center it says, keep on being you, which is a nice little inspirational um, quote. And it's kind of fun. Yeah, it's kind of like a celebration of being yourself, which is fun. And yours might be totally different with a different message or, you know, no message and that's fine and just kind of yeah i hope you enjoyed the process of it and got to play with your new materials from the art to go bag and yeah i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you have a good evening day wherever you are thank you